Hey, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Krista, a 99th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's problem as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from lesson 10 of the biology two module. Be sure to pause the video, try the problem out for yourself before listening to my explanation. The answer choices provided in the question are all layers of the epidermis. So we need to understand what, what the function of each of these layers is. So let's remind ourselves of all five layers of the epidermis. A way that I like to remember the order of them is to say, carrying lotion gets skin better. The easiest way to understand the function of each layer is to look at the functions from bottom up. The bottom layer, the stratum basale, is where rapid cell division happens. The cells that are found in the stratum basale are keratinocytes and melanocytes, which produce keratin and melanin respectively. The next layer is the stratum spinosum. In this layer, desmosomes form between keratinocytes. The cells start to lose water, so it creates a spiny look, which is where the name comes from. Also, this is where Langerhorn immune cells are found. The next layer, the stratum granulosum, is named because the keratinocytes in this layer have granules inside of them that move the keratin around. They're keratin handling granules. And then the next layer, as the cells move from the bottom layers to the top, is the stratum lucidium. This one is named because the cells in this layer are clear. They've worked so hard in the past three layers that they actually start to die off. They lose their nuclei, their organelles, and their granules and become the, a clear color because they don't have those organelles that give them the color. As they continue to move up, they reach the stratum corneum, which is composed of 15 to 20 layers of dead keratinocytes. Now that we know the structure and function of each of the five layers of the epidermis, we can go ahead and make a logical conclusion for our answer. Since we want to target the melanin producing cells for gene therapy, we have to target melanocytes, which are only found in the stratum basale of the epidermis. Answer choice D, the stratum basale, is the most effective target for gene therapy in order to prevent cancer in individuals with albinism. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, give us a follow and go check out MCATselfprep.com for more tips, tricks, and resources on how to do well on the MCAT.